Hi guys, I'm Tamil and in this video I'm going to show you how to fight wreath with the weapon of your choice. As you're probably aware, you're supposed to fight wreath with the solar trans weapon. So the first thing you need to do is have the solar trans equipped. Either one of them, the sword, dual weapon or the heavy. Then you need to tap the blue circle and the sword at the top middle of your screen at the exact same time. And that's the way you can change to the weapon of your choice. In this case I decided I wanted to fight him with the shard so that I looked more like the iron guard. Even though I didn't have the shield, but the shard is dual weapons. So that's the way you can choose whichever weapon you want. Just tap the blue circle and the sword at the top and then when you go back to the fight it's straight into the fight. And you can do the same with the Sky Cage Titans if you don't want to use the weapons that they require. Again you need to have them equipped before you tap the blue circle and the top sword at the exact same time. So I thought I'd show you the rest of my fight with Ree. I get through him quite quickly because I have high attack. And here he is doing one of his step backs which is a double dodge to the right and then two ducks. I've got a video on Reed's step backs. You might want to check that out if you want to see them in more detail. The good thing about Reed is you can parry all of his moves except the kick. So I recommend getting used to his moves because he becomes quite easy to finish off once you are familiar with him. And if you dodge the last hit then you'll get a longer break window and if you get perfect parries then you can add attacks to your break window. So in that case I got a step back and I wasn't hit so there was four exclamation marks and I also got two perfect parries so that meant I could attack him with eight combos and then an ultra and you can definitely get through him faster the more you get perfect parries and also dodge the last hit. I definitely recommend using dual weapons with Reef because then you don't have to have any stats in shield and if you're playing new game and going higher and higher up then he gets rather almost impossible to defeat if you're using sword and shield or heavy because he takes so many points off your shield it isn't actually impossible because you can use a combination of gems and also a lot of stat points in your shield but it's definitely very hard that way and so the sooner you get used to fighting him with dual weapons the easier it will be for you as you go up high in new games he gives a lot of XP so he's definitely worth fighting in this case I didn't have any XP gems or potion so he only gave me just over 3 million XP points. Normally I can get up to 20 from him. And don't forget the large chest after you fight him. That's it from me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did. And also check out Infinity Blade Masters and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.